I like to try and guess the score based on the thumbnail. It's a fun little game I play with myself. There's no such thing as true love, and we're all going to die anyways. <laughs> Have a nice day. Hi, everyone. Don't, Don't think touch, touch Tano, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a track, track review, review of the latest Death Grips track, Mother of Fury, featuring Mr. Primus himself, Les Claypool, on the bass. The experimental hip hop trio known as Death Grips is back. New track, Striking While the Iron is hot, fresh off the back of their new full length album, Bottomless Pit, one of my favorite albums of this year. One of the best albums in their discography. So catchy, so direct, abrasive ear candy, digital destruction. Ah! And this new track isn't just simply an extension of all of this material that Death Grips has recently released. The band throws us a bit of a curveball here with a surprise appearance from Les Claypool playing the bass on this track, which is interesting to me for a few different reasons. Uh, one, I was totally obsessed with Primus in high school and college, one of my favorite bands. And not only that, but Les has long been a fan of Zach Hill's music and drum playing, dating back to his days in Hella. Les Claypool also made an appearance on Zach Hill's solo debut, Astrological Straits. And that was like back in the late 2000s. So it's pretty cool that they were able to come together once again, and collaborate under the Death Grips name. Basically, Les's contributions on this cut can be heard in the insane slap style playing that seems to be sampled throughout much of this cut. I'm not sure if this song was conceived with Les in mind, or if he was a part of the writing process, or if he simply just kind of gave to the band some original just kind of improvisations and playing uh, in the same way that Bjork donated her vocals to the band for them to use on the first half of The Powers That Be. I'm assuming it's most likely that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing since Death Grips very creatively work samples into their music. It's not necessarily going to take away from the song or anything like that. And this track to me is incredibly disorienting, very busy, very dense. It reminds me a lot of the song Hothead in that regard. And Les's bass is a pretty prominent element in the mix here. I would say it actually plays a pretty key role in separating this song from many of the other tracks on Bottomless Pit. The skittering, busy slap bass that is all over this cut is fucking nutty. And Les just pulls so many sounds out of his bass, whether it be, again, this very rhythmic slapping and popping, which is just so fast. And then there's also these kind of squealing whoop whoop sounds. Around the three minute and 10 second mark, there's like this bass and drum break where it seems like just Zach Hill's drumming and Les's bass are coming together. Maybe this was recorded in a live jam, I'm not totally sure, but even if it wasn't and it was just kind of Les playing and then Zach came onto the track after to sort of complement it with percussion, it still came together really well. Like this bass and drum break is amazing. And it's great that they were able to work these sounds into what is pretty much another very catchy death Rips tune. Not only is there a very solid refrain to this track, but Ride is worked and weaved into the song really well too, whether it be his kind of monotone, hypnotic vocals, uh, right against his mother the fairy shouting, or his pitched rapping vocals at some point in the track where he's a little chipmunked. I wouldn't say Ride's performance is so off the wall or amazing that it's the most memorable thing about the track. I think the most memorable thing about the track is just how the bass and the drums come together, but maybe the lyrics would have stuck out to me a little bit more if I had a lyric sheet to this track. I looked around online, couldn't quite find a complete set of lyrics, but I think it's a decent track and it went over way better than I think a collaboration like this should have. Honestly, I wasn't uh, uh, expecting to like this as much as I did. I wouldn't say I prefer it to many tracks off of Bottomless Pit. It is one of those Death Grip songs where it feels like there's just so many elements packed into it that it almost fails to translate much of anything sometimes. Still though, like the track a lot, and could this potentially mean another Death Grips album around the corner? If so, that would be pretty insane. And I'm just gonna uh, dip out before I even try to make sense of this cover art. Cool? Cool. Transition. 
Have you given this track a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit that like. If you like, please subscribe. Please don't die. Death Grips. Mother the Fairy. Forever.